morning, guys. Colin and Amanda here from Cali, and uh, Sarah's behind the camera. Got some really good drone footage this morning. We were catching bait, catching pilchers on the sabiki rig here. We got about maybe 30 so far, trying to get like 50 of them. We got a few crabs with us, got a couple shrimp, and we are gonna try to catch mutton snapper and permit today. And with a little bit of luck, we'll catch dinner. And we may, we brought the wahoo rods too, so we might troll for a wahoo. You can see all the boats here catching bait this morning. I got a sabiki rig tangle, but you guys are along for the ride and hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful day out here, Easter Sunday. Bait is thick. Look at the mark on the machine, that's nuts. There's a lot of bait here. We are hooked up, the first bottom drop. No wahoo bites, but a man is trying to get dinner. Um, we troll for wahoo about half an hour. Had a nice spread out with three rods, but just no bites. But I just set up the bottom rod, sitting on a pilcher, and first bait down there got a bite. Sarah's on a bow up there. Now hopefully we want to get a mutton snapper for Easter dinner. The kids are Easter egg hunting with grandma right now. We'll get to see them later on, but had to take advantage of the weather. We're trying out these new reels. They're really weird. <laughs> Left-handed conventionals. Very strange if you've never used one because we haven't really ever used them. And we're all right-handed. So, <laughs> so they're the right new uh, the new Fathoms from Penn and two-speed reels, but super nice. And we're going to try them out here with a Wahoo lure mess and tangle up in. You want to leader him up when he comes up, Colin? Sure. So when the sinker comes up, just swing that to Colin. Here you go, swing it left. Let Colin grab the leader. Yep, just grab the leader, just pull the leader in. It's floating up, it looks like. Do I didn't guide the line. Was I supposed to nah, get it? Nah, you're fine, you're good. He's off. Now keep pulling on, he's probably floating up. Oh, he's floating, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What do we got, a grouper or a mutton? Looks grouper like season's mutton. closed. Oh, it's a nice mutton snapper. Nice mutton. We got dinner, guys. Woo! Yeah, first drop. Good one. On the board. Perfect. One from the nice. nuts. Nice. How was that? What happened, Colin? Uh, old stuck on bottom Sarah is not stuck on bottom anymore. There's no. pro probably a grouper on her, something like that. Yeah. Only... Keep on Sarah. He's There's on there. On it. There was. Did you lose him? Floating. Floating. Not yet. You lost him. There was a fish on there. What's happening? <laughs> we are tight on the mini rod on the conventional. I got a couple dozen of these in you guys. We've been sold out of the spinners, but we got some of these conventionals. Got a bunch of guides on them. And we got, I think, a mutton snapper on. And a correct handed reel. Yeah. And it's on the right side, so exotic guys are using the left hand side. <laughs> you Very got two awkward. options today. You have a lefty on a really long rod or a regular Righty on, a, short on rod. a really short rod. So two awkward setups. It's strange, but this is a torque. This is a super smooth reel. Oh, there he is, mutton snapper. I'm gonna leader him up here. Come on, I'm gonna outfish you on this small rod. Because my... okay, so if we get him, that means we got dinner covered. Oh yeah. Boom shakalaka. Number two. Target species, and that's just an average size. When you guys buy a 22 inch fish, not a monster, but it'll be very good eating. There we go. Target species acquired. The next few months, springtime, early summer is the best time for these guys. Hopefully we're gonna get some big ones. Colin keeps losing them, but he'll catch one eventually. Why's it gotta be so awkward with the left hand? <laughs> Nick was talking smack and Colin immediately hooked up about 20 seconds later. I guess that's what it feels like when you're used to winding on one side on the other, that's probably what it feels like. Super awkward. You're probably tangled up with him. Yeah, it looks a bite. Yeah, get him. Try it. Where are you tangled? You don't just like set the hooker? Yeah, just wind down and down there. Lift up. There yeah. you go. Good job. Give her the pick right though. Now. Are you tangled up? Oh, no, it's kind of scuffed really close. They're both catching the same fish. It's okay. Teamwork. You might have to walk back oh, here. Oh, teamwork. It's okay. Keep reeling. Yeah, walk back here real quick. Here Please. comes Colin. Another mutton snapper, baby. They're biting today. Just got that ledge on hit me. No, you got a fish on yours. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, just keep lining. I just might be looped around you once. Colin Dog, look at him. Floating up. Look at those bubbles. Yeah, boy. Got him. You guys, these mutton snappers are hitting today. Nice. Gorgeous. Colin, it's like old days, baby. Right? Colin and I known each other about 12 years. You get 12 years, right? 12 years. 13 years, maybe. Going on 13 feels like 50. Here, look what he's eating, you guys. 
Look what you just coughed up, that little tiny like lobster shrimp looking thing. Wow. Little baby like lobster that out here. Yeah. Little tiny shovel nose. It could be the mutton snapper day of the year for us. Oh, we had to leave Vic at home, so we felt bad. It's gonna be sad. Well, we had to give him a, a piece of mutton though to eat maybe. How does it feel left-handed, fine? Yes. So yeah, this I is a left hand really, guys. For silver, I'm 38, so say for 30 years I've been whining with conventional reel on the right side, and we got these new left ones to try. It is very awkward, but I assume that's what someone feels like if they're not used to fishing, you know, and use what we usually use, like especially with the spinning reels. He's spinning. Look at him spinning up. I can taste them now. Blowing out his air bubbles. Uh oh, biggest one yet, you guys. Good job. Beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh, they mud snappers got spikes too, Sue. So Come on. You always want to be careful. Good job. California strikes. Fish closer together. Good job. Beautiful day. 20 pound stands rod with a new pen fathom. Oh. You get another bite? Not yet. Not yet. You're going to get one though? I call the mini rod like next Captain Nick Stanzig. None of us want to use mini rod. Oh yeah, the most awkward one. Yep. Hey, imagine if it was a small rod with a left-handed reel. That would be the ultimate of awkward. Yeah, oh, here's a bite here. Here, I'll get it. Yep, um. <sighs> Try cranking, I'm on there. Just crank first, I don't know if he's on there. Crank, 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 crank. I can't crank with this thing. Good job, he's on there. On camera. <laughs> get him. Awkward. It is weird, right? We got a few different setups today. We're marking good fish here. I mean, you can see a nice layer of fish there on the bottom. Easter Sunday. Yeah. Sassy's got them on. Pilchers in here, they're all doing good still. There's our bait. There's a bite. Oh, get them, Colin. Take it, bud. Yeah, get them. Lots you of cranking. What does it say? Who is it? Rob. Rob. Uh, si definitely Simon. Answer. Tell Rob we got four muttons already. <laughs> nope. Rob. What's the fish we, we got four muttons already, and Sarah's hooked up now. I wish you were here. No way. I swear to God. There you go. You, you later him. <laughs> hey, I might have been down, but don't count me out. Oh man, I told Cracker. I called him up earlier. I said, well. Got left on the dock, huh? Yeah. He's floating out of the boat here. Are the buttons pretty good? Uh, yeah, we just got our fifth one, but he's small. So we got four keepers and- Can we let him go? I think that one's gonna be too small. You can measure him, but I think he's small. Oh, there's a bite up here. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. Oh, that front rod's been the door. Oh boy. Oh. We missed him. He bit it a couple times. Nuts, they might have been small ones. Might want to drop back down one more time. Okay, so we let go of that one, but we got a nice catch of fish going here, you guys. I mean, four in the box already, and it's early. It's a bit more luck, we catch a couple more. Get a little bit of fish for everybody. Nope, not a bite. Turtle's back. Turtle's back? Oh, the turtle's back over there, you guys. Really? I heard drifting around, that old turtle came up to say hi. Big old turtle, probably big loggerhead. Yeah, he's got a bubble butt, so he's got air in his body. Or a shell, it happens sometimes. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's go ahead and check these, you guys, and go reset again. All right, bring it in, Nick. <laughs> Another one. This is we'll so awkward <laughs> turning this left handed reel, you guys. I want to. Oh, it just came off. Nuts. Maybe if you had a right handed reel. Maybe. That is weird. Oh, it feels like it's still on there. Oh, sharks might be eating them, maybe. Oh, that's a snapper bite there, Colin. Sna Colin's bait got crushed. We had to rub it in Rob's face because he didn't come down this weekend. He could have been doing an Easter egg hunt this afternoon with us and the kids. But he didn't want to. Ah, it's not a... What the heck? What is it? Okay, so we had a big fish on you guys, oh like a big mutton snapper probably. He came off and a bonita ate the bare hook. So I've seen that, I've seen that happen before sailfish before, like you find a sailfish comes off, you're whining in your hook and they eat it. So we lost a big fish and we caught that fish. 
That's not what it was to start, I promise. You want one too, Nick? Not a second. Go get him, buddy. Come back without a fish. My makeshift rod holder right here. Get him, Sassy. I think it's uh, not the right species. Keep him coming. Or rather, it's a big, big giant snapper. Somebody choked on the bait. As Rui would say, maybe he piped it. That's what I said I wanted him to do. Yeah, hope so. Meter him up, Sassy. I see it. Let's see what we got here. Mutton or grouper? Oh yeah, nice mutton snapper. Mutton. Go, Sassy, go. Nice mutton snapper, number five. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh, he did pipe it down there. Good job. Oh. Is that a lot of work? Yeah, those rods suck. Hey, this, suck. hey <laughs> this is a fish that we missed earlier though because he just coughed up a pilcher he and he has another one on here. So at least we got even with him. What you get for being greedy? Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered, baby. Get him. <laughs> get him, Colin, on the mini rod. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh no, he got eaten. Hang on, just let him run. I think he got eaten. Sharks are moving in. It means we gotta move out. Yeah, it's just shark heavy. Ah, the sharks are a problem, you guys. There's too many of them. You can see that fish was coming up there. That's probably the shark that got him about, you know, 100 feet off the bottom. Time to get out of here, though. We don't want to feed a bunch of fish to the sharks. Wahoo on, baby. Been trolling for an hour. Started screaming. About 160, 180, maybe. Mutton's in the box. We told for half an hour this morning. We told 45 minutes up here. We're gonna go look for Herman. The rod started screaming, so hopefully he stays. We'll be all Wahoo babies to make our day. There. Where's the gal? That's a king. There's a Wahoo. I'm just gonna swing. I mean, small guy. Wahoo, baby! Got the old hoochie, baby. That's what we wanted right there. Oh yeah. You gotta love the Wahoos. I mean, check those colors out. They are gorgeous fish. Get them, big permit on, big permit on. Keep going, keep going. Why don't I, why don't I, why don't I, why don't I, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Firm it on. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. Yeah, dog, Woo! got your permit. Yeah, dog, keep going. How about them apples? Yeah. How about them apples? Yeah, dog. Nice job. Nice permit. Bye bye, buddy. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Rise. Rise up. <laughs> that don't always work out like that, does it? First cast, permit. I'm gonna be dead. You're doing good. I'm gonna be literally dead. Now you're good. Just take your time. Lift up easy, wind down. Just hold him in the boat there, Kyle. I don't see him. Oh, God. Let me see that hook there, Colin. Uh, Old crabby. New BKK hook right there. Crabs for perms. There you go. Oh. Uh, I don't good. think I can do this. No, you you almost got him. Just, just, if he's pulling, just let him pull, okay? Okay. Just hold steady. Uh, Once he stops, and you'll get him. I don't know if I can do this much longer, no, no, Colin. You're doing good. You're going to catch him in about 30 seconds. Just let you got to just keep one pulling, down. babe. I'm trying. He's right there. Jesus, hold ah, you. You're gonna get him. <laughs> you take this oh. Easy. He's almost, you almost got him. Just lift up easy, oh wind down. God. Easy, wind down. Perfect. Oh. Tip low, tip low. Oh, that worked. If he's running, don't go oh. back. You're doing good. 
There you go. Nice and steady. Right here. A oh, good one. Oh my god. Nice permit. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, that out perfect. Oh. Oh my god! Nice and easy. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Leave, leave a little more line. Okay. Drag him in a circle and grab his tail. Circle him and grab his tail. Yeah, yeah. baby! Yeah, good one. Good job, guys. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Holy oh, hell. They're strong, right? Oh my god. Hey, grab, right. grab the line. Shoot gun. Alrighty, head first. Bye bye, buddy. Give him that good head start. Good job, babe. Oh, so many permit, Nick. Very nice. I, I didn't think I was going to do it. Are they brutal? I that They're was brutal. like the worst. <laughs> I mean, the best. Yep. You know? They're strong. So, permit are very strong and they pull good. We got two and we lost one, but uh, great day. I mean, five muttons, a wahoo, and a couple permit. And Sarah wants permit now. Let's see what happens. There you go. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I wish I was recording from right here. <laughs> Let him sink. Let him sink. Let him sink. Get ready, guys. Come on, permit. Little deal, Bert. See him out there all stained right there? You guys are in them. Let them sink down there. See them all? Yeah. I kind of see a little That's shine. That's stained, yeah. Just keep letting them crap sink. If you don't get a bite, so you might want to wind up and recast. Right now, wind up Sarah yours and recast it. Oh. Right when I turn the camera off. Right when I turn the camera. Why get him, get him, big one. That's a big crab. That's a big oh one. They're really, really God. deep, Colin. I'm like, let it sink away. Alright. Okay, so we're back after permit. I just turned the camera off. Wine, wine, just wine, 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 wine. Yeah, doubled up. Good job, guys. Doubled up. Doubled. Oh, he just came no, off. No, no, wine, wine. He's from Did he come off? Yeah, he come came off. off. Okay. Almost had a double. Big perm on Sarah. Big perm, big perm. Gonna hurt me. Oh yeah, big perm. Oh god. Oh yeah. Down and dirty, down and tight on the 20 pound spinning rod. Thank god it's at least a proper setup. <laughs> Get him sassy. So that's one good thing about this X3 here, having that tower. We can sight fish and see those permit, you know, better than if we're on the deck you know down low you can't see them because up here the higher we are the more birds out of view we got as much as these things whoop your butt this is like one of my favorite fish to catch out here like throwing crabs at them like that it's like yeah so turn that thing on colin yeah yeah gotcha. uh, the you big one now no just whenever you can see them big one moving quick oh yeah he moved quick how's it feel sarah big one moves <laughs> It's a love-hate relationship, isn't it? He's a big one. He's oh, over yeah. here, Colin. Look at him shining. Come on this way, Colin. There you go. Big one here, you guys. Size large. There you go. Good one there. Oh, look at him shining right there. Look at the other crab if you want. Little bait out here. They're shining everywhere. Oh, a nice permit there. Good job, Sarah. Ooh, big wreck permit. Oh, yeah. Rubber lips, goodbye. That's a good one. Yeah, nice, nice, nice job. Bye bye, buddy. Good job, Sassy. Oh, oh my back. <laughs> I love permit though. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs>an awesome day you guys now this is a swordfish houseboat and that's where colin's staying tonight boop, boop. we're gonna show the inside of it too because some of you guys don't know that we have accommodations here but we do lots of seaweed could be a pain this year but wind up getting that fourth permit and that was a epic day here lots of fun Alright you guys, so this is the swordfish houseboat, hence the swordfish. And this is one of the options here if you guys want lodging at the marina. Overlooks the Atlantic Ocean right there. You can see Alligator Lighthouse and 
we showed this a while ago, but little table there, little uh, coffee maker and all that stuff, sink, mini fridge, and not really set up for full of cooking, you know, but you can warm something up, you know, if that's what you want. But couch right there, overlooking the water over there. And like I said, lots of swordfish pictures in here. I have not been in here in a long time. Here's the bathroom. We'll shower right in here. So if you guys want like a little unique experience or something different, definitely consider staying on the house, but here. I'm gonna step down here. It has two different bedrooms. This one has two twin beds. So just like that. More swordfish picture on the wall, and this is the master bedroom in the back here. A full size bed, maybe a fuller queen, I'm not sure. And there's Sarah's boat right over yonder. So but pretty cool setup here right on the water. And you know, not for everybody, they do move around a little bit, but if you guys like fishing and want to come down here and hang out, definitely check out the lodging options we have at Bud Murray's. Just if you're coming down and you know it's not a fancy resort here or anything like that, but plenty uh plenty good enough for me and for a lot of people. So but Colin will be on here the next couple of nights, they're gonna enjoy it. And let's uh go clean some fish. We're not gonna go that way. But it's a nice little treat. The wallows are super easy to clean, you guys are very soft. Ryan, let me borrow a knife because mine are on the broad minded and broad minded is swordfish. It's hopefully catches one. But perfect eating size right here. So we'll do him. I don't know how we're gonna cook it up, but we might do him raw actually. But that water there slides right off. Beautiful little piece of there. Knock this rib cage out with the bellies there. I'm gonna start skinning it. That'll be sashimi, you might grill some too. And let's do a mutton snapper real quick as well. I opened this. Okay, what did you see today? Bunny footprints. You got bunny footprints? You guys, it's Easter. There are bunny footprints down there. Did he get the carrots we put out for him? He did? Those are Easter bunny footprints, you guys. Today I found a gold egg. You found a golden egg? Oh. Um, what was in it? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay, at least you found a golden egg. Claire, what'd I you find? I found today's Easter. Today's Easter, huh? You ready for fish tonight, Sadie? Yes. Looks like the Easter bunny made his way to the house. And they got lots of, East, lots of Easter baskets, so thank you everybody who gave me stuff there. All right, so many guys were asking, this is the fancy soy sauce. Black garlic, show you, show you. So that is very good stuff. This is the Wahoo, they got some seaweed salad. We put it in the freezer, got it nice and cold. Sarah cut it up in little pieces. I like the best. Colin, how is it? I'll tell you in a second. Is that the first Wahoo you caught in a while? It's, uh, it's really good. You like it? Good wee -hoo. Thank God. Now what was funny was, Colin, what do you want to fish for? He goes, well, maybe we can stay on the reef and try for like permit and mutton snap or maybe a wahoo. It was like, eh, pretty high uh, expectations, but it all worked out. <laughs> One of those days where everything went together and went very smooth, so. Wait, the really funny part is, I picked up the wahoo after we caught it. Oh yeah. And I dipped it, it was dead. What and I got? dipped it in the water to wash it off so we could take a picture and it kicked away from me. It was in the water swimming away and Colin reached in and like ninja grabbed it by the tail and put it back on the boat, but it was gone. And now we got it here. She almost let it go after all that. <laughs> Reflexes. We've, we've probably burned like 150 gallons worth of gas the last four or five times we went wild trolling and haven't caught one. So it was nice that it finally paid off and caught another one. Ooh, double dipping, two pieces at a time. Gotta get that dad bob going. Look how red your arms are. I know. <laughs> Whoops. All right, Very good. Okay, there's seaweed salad, there's soy, and if you like wasabi, that one's got wasabi in it. Can I use this one to give of a little... Of course, yeah. Put it on there. A little dippy on there. Yeah. Got your first permit ever today, right? Mutton snappers, got the wahoo, got the Florida Keys. Super excited not feel my right arm tomorrow for that. <laughs> they do fight good, huh? Oh, man. Now, are you excited to stay on the houseboat? Uh-huh. Oh, Claire's definitely needs some. And once you mm -hmm. chew that down there, tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. Like it? Good? Mm -hmm. You gonna mm -hmm. eat more? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Claire, in your Easter dress? Let's see if Claire eats some. Oh, she'll eat it. Claire, you want some sushi? No. What? What? Claire, you love sushi. Here. You said no. You wanna try a bite? Oh, that's a big Here. bite there. I'm gonna eat it. She'll eat it. 
Mm. Claire, did you see any Easter bunnies today? Mm-hmm. You did. Did you get any Easter eggs? Mm-hmm. Did you get any candy? You did. I was going to say, have more. Do you like the Wahoo? Mama. Can I have more? Can I have more? Can I have more? <laughs> Feed the lunch can. Mama. <laughs> you like it, huh? How many two year old how many two year olds eat sashimi? Wait right? <laughs> mm. till you see her eat uh, stone crab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go pull our stone crab cups from. Yeah. Oh, all to herself. Yeah, she's dragging that. She knows how to eat it. it. Sadie, you want a piece of sashimi? You don't. So the general consensus is they want fried snapper plus some blackened. So we're gonna do the blackening seasoning, which we've got some new, I think off the hook it's called, I believe. Blackening seasoning over there. We're gonna try that on the half shell. And this is just egg batter here. So it's egg and milk in here. Dipping it in the breadcrumbs and just covering them all up here. And we're gonna put in the little fry daddy here. And it's hard to beat fresh fried snapper. And we'll get this going. We got the Wahoo appetizer and we'll be in good shape here. The kids are going to love the snapper too because they love fried fish. All right, so we got the fry daddy here going. Stassi's putting them in there. And we got the first batch out, and that is golden brown. You know that's going to be delicious. Whew, can't wait to eat that. This is not the healthy way of cooking, but it's that's Easter. That's okay. We're going to blacken the piece Easter. too. We're going to blacken this piece, so. And the Wahoo is pretty much 80% gone. The fried fish looks amazing. Now we're going to do this blackened. That'll hook ya, blackening seasoning. So, we got a little bit of olive oil on there, a little bit of olive oil and butter in the pan. So we got this like that. And we're gonna cook it meat side down first, and then we're gonna put it on the skin side after that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn it up just a tiny little bit more. You can hear it sizzling. We need a, the pan will work. A little bit bigger would have been a little better, but that's what we got, so. We'll what? check back in about two minutes. Oh, look, white look at that. Is. That's white mutton. Mutton fish. The girls. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah. Oh, there that does look good. That does, that does look good. Oh, you see this? Look at it. Whoa. Yep. The skins are tightening up there. That was cool. Look at it. Oh. All right, girls. How's the fish? Done. You ate it already? You did? Was it good? Yeah. Was it yummy? Um, I did my Do you like it? Do you like the fish, Claire? Bite it. It's pretty good, Sadie. Do you want one more little bite? Mama! Oh, Claire doesn't like it. I took it from Claire. I'm sorry, Claire. Here. You finish that up there. Good? I want some more of that. You want more fish? Okay. It's two year old and five year old approved. Hey, can you, oh, that's nice. She shared with you. Sadie, can you tell everybody Happy Easter? Happy Easter. Yeah, say Happy yeah, Easter. So, uh, Boom! There it is. Black and mutton snapper. You know it's down there. Look at that. That's gonna be good. I wasn't expecting you to roll it over. I know. Some <laughs> I like it. It's off. Look I at that. Woo, that's yeah. hot. So that meat tensed up there looks good though. You can probably just peel the whole skin off if you want now. Peel the oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Peeling it off there. Crispy. Isn't that crazy looking? There you go. Boom. This is gonna be good. This is Thank like you, Stacy, for the green potato. bean casserole on that. Yeah. Well, Colin and Amanda, we need to know what you think. What is better, the blackened or the fried? Equal. Both good? Yep. 10 out of 10 on both. Oh, come on now. Can't pick. It's good? It's hard to beat catching your fish earlier today and cooking it multiple ways. So, it's about as fresh as it gets. I was nervous, I was scared that the blackening was going to be super spicy, but it really wasn't bad at all. No, oh, it's delicious. All right. Dakota, are you going to try it? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh, you got to go try it's a little bite. Spicy. No, it's not, it's not spicy. It's not spicy. I'll try it if you try it. I, I, was really, I was really scared. I thought it was going to be super bad. Super spicy, but... Super bad. <laughs> yeah, well, like, bad isn't spicy. 
It wasn't spicy. I was, I was. More like a cooking it was style. Nice, nice flavor. Like spices. Sorry about that. Sweet marriage. Yes. I agree. It's more a flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice flavor yeah, to it. Yeah. It's not really yeah. spicy. It's a little like. A little kick. A little. It's not like, bad. I prefer the fried. It's good. I actually you like kind it? of prefer the blackened. Oh, you yeah. do? Yeah. It's definitely healthier. Yeah. <laughs> extra, extra salt. I don't think we're ever gonna get tired of fried My snapper, part is the water. especially when it's fresh. Good yeah, thing, we got the water. Good thing I didn't let it go. <laughs> yeah, you almost let it go. I have to tell Dakota. Yeah, wait till you hear the story. She almost let it go. Show me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that wraps that up, and uh, hope you enjoy that day. That's what Almer has to offer. Like we said about the marina, if you ever want to come stay there, go fishing there. Fifty different charter boats. There's a head boat, about a dozen lodging options. So, go to the website budmarys.com. We are redoing my website for my charter boat right now with me and Captain Mike, as well as Captain Danny on the other boat. And uh, that's standsfishing.com, so we got all our clothing on there, plus our two Freemans on there for charter. And uh, if you guys want to go fishing, come on down here. we got plenty of guys to take you. The girls are calling me. Everybody wants me back to the table. I'm going to finish up this fish. But head to the website if you want any clothing, any charters, standsfishing.com, and we'll see you guys then. So we're signing off.